Hello, yes, Nick Griffin at his best. That's right. I've left a link below of a debate between uh, Lib Dem MEP Chris Davies and Nick Griffin when he was an MEP 209 to 214. And they're talking, discussing, debating the causes of global warming. Uh, Chris Davies, I think he's saying it's man made. Griffin's saying it happens, you know sporadically or every whenever 100 years 200 years that it's going to happen anyway i think that's where he's coming from uh he doesn't really elaborate that much um i personally right i'm not an expert on global warming so i can just give my uh layman's opinion and only what i've um i've learned from the two books there to my left by james lovelock i've got a third one around here somewhere the revenge of gaia by lovelock the very very interesting books that one the vanishing face of gaia a final warning along lovelock says we can still save planet earth but he reckons catastrophe is most certainly on its way he puts it down to there's too many people on the planet that are using fossil fuels which in turn are causing global warming i don't know if nick griffin would agree with that or disagree i don't know but the purpose of this video is not the causes of uh on solutions to global warming i don't know i really don't know what i do know or should i say what i do believe what i've i've, I've read and learned over the past 30 odd years is that there's definitely too many people on the planet and they must that must be impacting on the ecosystem the environment and everything else that creates global warming i'm sure it is but anyway my point being in this video is just watching nick griffin that's how you do politics and you know that nick you know that's how you do politics not war of the cradle nationalist cadres by the way nationalist cadres i've just ordered the two books reconquista and the attack on the family and the uh, uh, European nationalist response have just ordered them. I can't wait to get them. There's a guy that's come on board now. He's going to devour the Reconquista. He's uh, a lot more schooled or learned in that uh, topic than I am. And he's going to do a good review on it. So get ready. Anyway, he's come on board now. This new party that's going to be formed, which it will sometime this year. But well before May next year, when I stand in Kensington, Liverpool City Council elections. But anyway, so that guy will be, uh, he'll re I'll read Viconkey, so I'm going to pass it to this guy who's going to do a review on it. Right, if it's good, he'll do a good review. If it's not, he'll do uh, a review accordingly. But anyway, I've ordered them to. So that's how you do real politics, Nick, which you're more than well aware of, is the, the video below. Really, really good, interesting debate. Uh, not reconquista and war at the cradle and nationalist cadres and you know the picture on your nick griffin facebook where you're dressed in your army fatigues all sitting there is jim dowson on that as well i don't think you realize how stupid you look you look a proper plant pot and yet when you see it in the video below you're a different person i don't know you jump in and out of these two extremes. I don't know. I just don't know. But that's how you do politics. The video will be alone. You need to get back in there doing politics. I know there's no money at the moment. I know if I won the National Lottery, I'd probably wake up and there'd be a tent in the front garden. You'd probably be in it. But we've got to start again somewhere, haven't we? This is all just a cop out. This war of the cradle. And all the rest of the nonsense. I'll do a video on the attack on the family because I, I will be able I, I'm an expert on that what's actually happening in society today regarding marriage uh, young people having kids or why they're not having them and so on and so on so I'm looking forward to getting them two books but the video below is how you do politics okay thank you